Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's time to do another walkthrough. Just getting this camp ready to send out, burning the stove for the last time. So, figured I'd give you a tour while I was out here. So, we're gonna walk through this one. It's raining outside, so I probably won't spend a lot of time on the exterior. We'll focus most of our attention on the interior. So, anyways, let's get started. just so happens that the sun decided to come out for a minute so we'll go ahead and hurry and hit this before we get rained out again so this is an x24 so 24 by 8 foot box so 102 inches exterior as far as width which is legal width so as wide as you can go and then like i say 24 foot on the living quarters of this box so this would be categorized as an x30 camp which if though those of you that have watched the channel before this is a pretty common um length this generally i can put everything that you would want in it in this length it's still compact enough you can get it where you want it um so yeah very popular length on this one Nothing out of the norm on this. The only upgrades that were added is the Wayne's coat down the side. He did do the 10 ply tires on this one. And then it does have the heated insulated tank cover with the electric heaters on them as well. And then he did also the pull out camp shaft, which I don't know if I've showed one of these for a while. So we'll go ahead and open this up and pull this out and let you see and it'll come out it does have some latches that'll latch it um, but keeps everything nice and tidy to where you don't know, there's no setup anything that way you just pull it out turn your gas valve on and you're good to go so super nice option um, we do plumb all of our camps to where if you did want to add this in the future or whatever it's not that big of a deal for us to do it so but it is kind of a nice feature to have and then you have your solar standard 200 watt panels the wainscot continues on the back your fresh water storage and everything is in that compartment this one is equipped which most of our camps um that get the heated tanks with the electric heat pads will come with six six volt batteries so big bank of storage there as far as your power and everything you do have your solar controller here that will tell you kind of what's going on right now where batteries are at 13.2 volts and then you can cycle through this and it'll tell you we're putting 1.2 amps of solar into the batteries batteries are at a hundred percent so anyways it's kind of cool gives you an idea of what it's doing the whole time um yeah so that's what's in that compartment these all have them adjustable latches on them which of course now that i said that i can't get it closed but they'll latch down pulls it tight against this double sail so you don't have to worry about anything getting wet or anything in your compartment furnace wood box door this one feeds all the way through this one does have the shore power cord which all of our camps unless specified will come with this as well as your water hookups all of that stuff to ensure that you can do what you need to do whether it's boondocking or, or yeah you're at an rv park so your water connections for your city um, and your sewer are all here and these are just fridge vents it does have the storage in your front compartment so you've got your latch opens up these grates you can remove them store tire chocks whatever it is that you want to store in there so 
kind of keeps it out of your storage compartments in the box so two seven gallon propane tanks should be ample um, propane storage to last you quite a while in this one depending on how you're using it so anyways that's kind of a look at this one on the exterior we'll go ahead and go inside and i can tell you the colors as well as the layout so this one does have the traditional dutch door which 90 percent of our camps have so split upper half and lower half so with this little latch you can open that top half leave it open close your lower half helps you regulate temperature or at least that's what it did in the old days now we have fans and windows and all sorts of stuff to help with that so and as we come in i'll close this door so the lighting's a little better common thing i know i say it in each video but brazil wood it's very very popular cabinet color we do a ton of camps in the brazil wood so this one does have the brazil wood cabinets it has mercury vista cabinet or countertops and then a tawny oak flooring with a whiskey barrel walls so yeah i really like these colors like i say the brazil wood is super popular we do a ton and ton of brazil wood it seems like probably 75 percent of the camps that we've been building lately have been the brazil wood so very popular color but we've got big closets up front this one runs the entire length so closet runs the or a, yeah whatever i'm trying to say closet rod runs the entire length so they'll have tons of storage as far as hanging storage and then this one has a boot drawer below to where they can keep their boots and stuff in there it does latch and then they've got two big drawers underneath these are all dovetail drawers and they're on locking slides to where they've got some resistance on them some spring on them all your doors i failed to mention these are all on soft close hinges so they don't slam this one he didn't do the microwave in it but it is wired for a microwave if he decides that that's what he wants to do so generally this is where the microwave would go um, right above your fridge freezer combo and then we have some more drawers big storage underneath here this camp does have the lights in the cabinet so keeps everything lighted to where you can see what you're doing so all of those are on a switch and then like i say your drawers your stainless steel range all your appliances are stainless steel you got your monitoring system with your lights these are the cabinet lights i just showed you these three would be for tank heaters for your holding tanks and you've got your water heater water pump and then all of your monitoring systems you've got a humphreys gas light overhead storage these are all on gas struts so keeps them up while you're getting your stuff out of there all led lights very minimal draw on your batteries you can run all of these lights in here and it hardly does anything so super nice one matched with the solar and like i say with that big bank of batteries he should be able to run this for long periods of time so the star of the show, the wood burning stove. I've got it burning. This is the third time, second time that I've burned this one. I, I generally will burn them a couple times before I send them out just to make sure all the paint, oils, all that stuff's burned off. I want you to have a good experience the first time that you use this. And generally, if I don't burn them, the first experience isn't going to be very pleasant just because they're there is a lot of nasty smells and smoke and everything else that comes off of them. So anyways, yeah, that it's a game changer. I, I built two camps without a wood stove and 
each one of them that built the camps have regretted not doing the wood stove. So whether you use it or not, most of our camps, especially these size camps, are gonna come with the forced air furnace. Of course, if that's what you want, this one does have the, the furnace in it with your thermostat here, your fantastic fan, and then it does have heat registers all throughout the camp to circulate that heat well. So, like I say, it, it's completely up to you how you spec your camp out, but I I think you'd be amiss if you didn't get the wood stove. Um, that's, that's the beauty of these camps. High insulation values and nice heat. So, this one's got the Pillow Top Queen. You've got a big headboard bookcase. The entertainment package with your stereo hookups for antenna, satellite, whatever you want that way. USB ports throughout. This one is the traditional layout. So it has the upper bed, elevated bed, and then it has the trundle bed. Which, if you haven't seen that, check out one of the other videos. There's several of them where I pull this out and show you how it works. This one does have the pull-out kitchen table as well. Same thing. Refer to one of the other videos to see how that works. And then you've got lots and lots of storage down here. These do have the soup boxes. They fold up, lighted as well. And then you have storage down beneath, underneath all of this. This one, I don't have the cushions in right now. I usually put them in right before the customer comes. So, but they do have cushions on these benches. All of your windows are all sliding windows with screens on them. So makes it nice, like I say, to regulate heat. I use the fantastic fan a ton. I would show you how it works, but where it's raining, it does have a rain sensor on it. So it would just close automatically and I wouldn't be able to show you how to do it. So anyways, it is a nice feature. And like I say, where it has the rain sensor on it, if you're out and about, it starts to rain, it closes automatically. Rosewood trim all throughout your ceiling. Stereo, more USB, 12 volt plugs. Large overhead cabinet. This one does have plenty of counter space. As you can see, it's it's got a lot of cabinets, a lot of counter space, and tons of storage. So giant double sink in this one more banks of drawers as well as a row of tip outs and then lots of storage beneath this one does have the pull out pantries both top and bottom and then where this one maybe differs a little bit from some of the other ones that i've shown you previously um, at least recently anyways, is this bathroom. This bathroom's quite a bit bigger in this one. It's got the deeper vanity. With your mirrored medicine cabinet. And then lots of space around the toilet and stuff. Just makes it for a little more usable bathroom. This one does have the 24 inch shower pan. And then they did the shower curtain instead of the glass door or the accordion style that we've done in several. Does have the frosted privacy window. And your solid, these are all, all the cabinets in this are all solid wood. This is a naughty alder. This door is an inch and a half thick. So, I mean, that's the thing. If you're gonna build a camp that's gonna last, you gotta build it out of quality materials that are gonna hold up. So, anyways, that's kind of a walkthrough of this one. Um, as always, if you haven't liked, subscribe to the channel, please do so. Share our videos. We'd love to get our name out to a few more people. So, anyways, we always appreciate you guys. You guys have supported us and, and we love you. So. Anyways, thanks for watching.